We are on day four now of the nine day liver rescue cleanse by the medical medium. I've got Ashley here behind me. She's cooking up our lunch for tomorrow. What do we got on the menu for tomorrow here, Ashley? So tomorrow is gonna be another salad, which is what we also had today for lunch. It's the liver rescue salad. Um, there's two options that are given in the book and then you are allowed to add to it any of the um, items listed that are healing to the liver so I'm mixing that up because today is day four day four five and six are a lot of salads so mixing it up so we have a bit of a variety and we don't get bored yeah, we try to mix it up so it's not just greens on the salad. You get some onions, you've got some tomatoes in here. Ashley's putting some mandarin. Yep, some, some radish. Some radish. So we try to mix it up. We try not to make our salads boring. <laughs> and it's very hard on this cleanse to find sauces because you can't use any oils. On, with any of the sauces yeah, so oils contain fat yeah so it has to be fat free so the dressings um, are like today's dressing was lemon maple syrup and garlic powder and that's really good together and then for tomorrow's we're gonna do the recipe that's in the book and it's an, like an orange vinaigrette but there's no vinegar in it for breakfast you, we switched it up this morning and we didn't have the heavy metal like we did the first three days. We ended up having this uh, liver rescue smoothie. And in the liver rescue smoothie, you've got a lot of healing ingredients. Yes, there are, there's dragon fruit, which is also called pitaya, and you can get that in the frozen section. Um, the frozen wild blueberries, and then bananas with some water, and that's one of the options, there's a second option that includes um, papaya. But we don't have any papaya, so we did option one. We're now entering into the six, which is the second stage of the 369. And days four, five, and six are within that. And it's basically salads <laughs> for lunch and dinner all three days with some asparagus and Brussels sprouts kind of mixed throughout. We enjoy eating salads, but there's a lot of, that's a lot of chewing, you know, when your jaw gets sore. So <laughs> we switched it up and we decided to, to start blending a salad. So we do like a salad like this for, you know, for our lunch. And then for dinner, we come over and we blend our salad. So this salad right here is going to get blended and all that's in it is mostly leafy greens. So Ashley's putting in some uh, some cabbage here, Which some red cabbage. Should be interesting. Right? <laughs> uh, it's going to have some kick for sure. <laughs> and then we've got some some organic kale here. And we usually go through what, a couple of these a week? Yeah. Yeah, we try to eat a lot of leafy greens. And then, so that's typically what we throw in those salads. We got a little more fruit, yeah. So like tonight, we're gonna do a bunch of leafy greens. We did some pomegranate seeds, cabbage, and then we'll sweeten it up with fruit. So we're gonna do kiwi 
and then we have frozen mango and those fruits are really great for the liver so uh, Anthony says you can add anything from the liver um, healing foods list so that's what we're doing and hopefully it will turn out good all right we are on day five and this is what I have packed for work for my goodies I've got waters liver rescue salad for lunch with steamed asparagus need to consume at least two apples with two to four dates and celery sticks that's my dressing that we made for the salad extra bananas extra apple as snacks and then I will also have um, liver rescue smoothie for breakfast along with celery juice we are on day five we're in the car We've got our, our dinner, which we did another smoothie salad. And instead of asparagus tonight, it's Brussels sprouts. Um, so we've got that all prepared. But last night on day four, there was a bit of a snafu where we were in the kitchen and all of a sudden water came rushing in from the laundry room. Yeah, and so we, we ended up having a uh, clogged drain. So our drains had backed up and all the water from uh, our tenants upstairs had drained down to the laundry room. And there was about an inch to two inches of water sitting in the laundry room as well as the, the, the kitchen and where we were cooking. <laughs> into the kitchen, yeah. So we immediately got a bunch of towels and got it cleaned up so, as we could. Soaked it up, yeah. So, but anyways, so we um, are still trucking through with the cleanse, even though we had to deal with that. Um, but, we're on our way to take a shower at Ben's parents' house since we can't run the water, the shower water. All right, day six. We've made it to day six, folks. We're in the living room tonight doing a little something different. We figured we'd show you what we were eating here. We've got Ashley. Okay. There we go. Okay, day six, still going strong. Um, our the flooding incident is all fixed. Ben uh, got that all fixed up today, and we're we're good to go, back up and running. Plumber Ben, right? Plumber Ben yep. got it all fixed. No butt crack though. <laughs> <laughs> So today with the foods, we had our 16 ounces of lemon water in the morning, then celery juice. So you have, you're supposed to have 16 ounces. We had 32 ounces because that's what we normally do. And then we had the liver rescue smoothie for breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, I had a snack after that. I had an apple kind of in between lunch. So for lunch, we had the liver rescue salad with some spinach, kale, pomegranate seeds, tangerines. There's some red onions on there, which was actually really good, a good savory sweet mix. Um, and then some cilantro. Yeah, and the sauce, the sauce was super tasty. Was that? The dressing. Yeah, the dressing. Was that in Anthony's medical meeting? It was. It was in there, but then we threw in some extra spices. Yeah, it was good. It was good. What we also had was we had a couple apples, right? Two apples? Two apples. Then we had some dates. And Two to four dates. Some celery. And celery sticks. So that's the afternoon snack that comes after the liver rescue salad. And then if you're still hungry in between that, you can munch on apples, bananas, any of the liver... Uh, rescue healing foods, foods yeah. but you feel pretty satisfied as long as you make a big salad and keep munching and keep your um, Keep in taking some lemon water lime water to stay hydrated. Yeah, you don't want to lose energy You don't want to lose any steam. So, you know, make sure you're feeding yourself throughout the entire day What I notice is when when I stop eating or forget to eat or don't eat in that schedule I start to go downhill pretty quick so um, definitely keep eating and check out the in the liver rescue book all the liver rescue foods and then you'll know what you can eat while you're on the cleanse in between yeah. the meals and snacks and stuff because those foods are going to support your liver and something interesting that we found in the book was that 
So when you feel hungry and you kind of like stretch it and let yourself go hungry, it means your liver is also really hungry. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to starve your liver. So that's why making sure that you're eating every, at least every few hours. Um, so that way you're not getting hungry and starving your liver. Yeah, yeah now we're at dinner time. <laughs> so we're eating our dinner right now. And we thought we'd share with you what we have. You mean drinking our dinner? Well, yeah, drinking and <laughs> eating drinking a little of both. And eating our yeah. dinner. Um, so for dinner, what we decided to do tonight was we're drinking part of it. And we've got our liver rescue we'll, smoothie, we've right? Blended it like the last. This is the third night now that we've blended it, but it makes it a lot easier. <laughs> it's so much easier to eat this way. Yeah, so we have our liver rescue smoothie. When we've been blending it, we've been putting some frozen fruit in there. That way it makes it cold like a smoothie. Um, and fruits that are part of the liver healing food, so like mangoes, cherries, or berries are what we've been mixing up and using. Um, and then so paired with the liver rescue salad, we have some steamed uh, asparagus and Brussels sprouts, um, which it might sound kind of not good because it's plain, but it's actually really tasty, especially when you've been eating all these salads. Um, it's quite tasty. All right, so tomorrow we're looking forward to day seven. Yes, very much so. <laughs> day seven, you switch up what you eat a little bit. So days uh, one through three, we ate a lot of the same food food items. And then day three through six, we ate a lot of the same stuff. And finally, on day seven, you switch it up a little bit and you end up getting to have some spinach soup. For which, lunch. which is one of our favorites. Really we have good. that all the time, mostly during the summer when the tomatoes are good. Yeah, because it's a lot of uh, spinach, obviously, and then tomatoes blended. And it's a cold soup, which it sounds kind of weird, but it's actually very delicious, especially when you kind of add your own spices and flavors to it. So looking forward to that. And then dinner, we get to have either steamed potatoes or steamed squash. Mm -hmm which we're looking forward to. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice when you get to switch it up after eating the same thing for six days. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. So we will definitely show you guys that. Yep. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay.